If you don't have the vision, helps if you should. You can start two months here. But here's the deal with the vision. Today we're looking at the vision, but we're adding a little bit of something to it. The little subtitle is with and without remainders. With and without remainders. So far with the vision, we've done problems like this. Um, 35 divided by 5 is 7. Or we've done, I don't know, 42 divided by 6 is 7. Or maybe 42 divided by 6 is 7. And those are all well and good because we multiply the divisor times the quotient. Let's use some math terms. You always get that dividend there. 6 times 7 is 42. 6 times 7 is 42. 6 times 5 times 7 is 35. But what happens if you end up with this? Well, let's, let's do the one we already have here. What if my problem was 37 divided by 5? 37 divided by 5. There is no exact number. 5 times what number gives you 37? There isn't an exact one. Okay. Caleb is going to say, well, that it, 7 is right when you go up here. Okay. But the problem is when you do 30, 7 times 5, it's only, what, 35, and you have what? Two left over. And that left over part is what we call the remainder. And when you have that, you just write 7, and then you put a little r up here, and then you put a 2 up there if there's some left over. And most of the ones they give you will be really easy ones, and you won't have too much issue there. For example, if I did um, you know, 17 divided by 2, Okay, you have to know your multiplication tables pretty well to think about, well, 2 times what gives me close to 17, but I can't go over 17. If I said 9, that'd be 18. I can't do that. You know, what you're, what you're doing with that is this. If you have 17, oh boy, I should have picked a smaller number. <coughs> you have 17 cookies, and you're splitting them up between you and your friend, and you're dividing them <coughs> really in half. You know, when you get you get one, your friend gets one, you get a second one, your friend gets a second one, you get one, your friend gets a third one, you get one, your friend, this is gonna take you a while, your friend gets a fourth one, you get a fifth one, your friend gets a fifth cookie, you get a sixth cookie, your friend gets a sixth cookie, you get a seventh cookie. Friend, friend, oh friend, where'd you go? Oh, <laughs> your friend gets a seventh cookie. You get an eighth cookie. Your friend gets an eighth cookie, and then you got that one cookie left over. But we're not getting the half yet. That is true. Okay, but everybody gets eight whole cookies, and that gives you sixteen. So you're left with the remainder of one. I can't really use that story problem. Okay. Now, those are the times when it's okay to have remainder, but there are times, boys and girls and ladies and gentlemen, when remainders, first of all, remainders really don't make sense. Just like going back to the cookie problem, okay, if I had 17 cookies and you were splitting it, into two splitting it up by two people, yes, everybody gets eight whole cookies, but if I asked you, Ben, to give me a remainder one of a cookie, what is a remainder one of a cookie? Well, it isn't. There's no such thing as a remainder one of a cookie. You could say give me a half of a cookie, but that only works because it's this problem. You know, if you split it up in three pieces, you wouldn't get that either. So, write down this story problem, and it's usually with story problems that we run into problems. Let's say you have this question. Um, what is it? Um, Uh, 16 people are waiting for 16 people are waiting for a boat ride. I don't know where they're at. 
six people or sixteen people are waiting on boat ride. If each boat, if each boat holds six people, how many boats will you need? How many boats do the sixteen people need? Okay. Now, if you think about this, what you're doing is you're taking 16 and you're finding how many groups of six will it take to get, you know, how many boats. Every boat can hold six people. You know, here, here. Which is nothing more than a division problem. It is 16 people split into groups of six. But here's the gist how many boats would it take? Well, if you do the division, you go, well, 6 times 2 is 12. But there's 4 people left over. In this case, you can't have, there's no such thing as a remainder of a boat. Okay, you need to take an extra boat. Even though there's going to be fewer people on it, there won't be 6 people on it or whatever. You know, you have to realize that in this story problem, you can't use a remainder because there's no such thing as a remainder of a boat. So instead of taking just two boats, you will need three. And they won't all be full, but you're still going to need three. Now it's a little like if you and your friends all get together and you want to go to McDonald's or whatever, and there's not enough people, there's too many people to fit in one car, you got to add another car. No matter if there's only two people in that other car or four, you have to do that. All right, so you have to recognize when or when you won't have and when you will use remainder. If you're just doing a regular number, you know, if the problem is just this, 50 divided by 7, what's my answer going to be? 50 divided by 7, this one, you can use remainder because it's not a story problem. We let you use remainder. What is 50 divided by 7? James? What is 50 divided by 7? Oh, I thought I'd do it. Oh, I think seven, which is 49, and then you have one left over. Right? That's what, it means. what is 30, ooh, six divided by five? Jackson? Seven. What's your remainder going to be? Remainder one. Okay. What is 40, well, what is... Well, what is 45 divided by, oh wait, 8. 45 divided by 8. Caleb? Um, four. Oh, 4 times 8 is 32. That's kind of low. 5 times 8 is 40, and what are you going to have left over? Yeah, remainder 5. Again, those you can use remainders for. If you're talking about how many people are riding a school bus or whatever, you can't have a remainder of a person. Okay. You can't have five remainders, six fifth graders, because that doesn't work there. You have to take an extra bus or whatever it is. And that's the whole gist of that lesson there. So for tomorrow.